it's a monumental dig this one. I, I thought it was right in the middle of the hole but it turned out to be here and it's dropped into here. There's a bit of a green from a coin or a button. Yeah. It looks more like a coin than a button. Totally corroded, probably never know what that one is. I'll give it a clean up though, I'll report back at the end if it's anything of significance. Ah, little musket ball. But that is a little one. Especially considering the size of the behemoths that I've been finding lately. You could probably just walk away from it if you got hit with that one. Not too bad, I like finding musket balls. Here's a nice little find that I got from this straw here. A little button. Seems to have some sort of pattern on it, but I'm not near any water, so I can't wash it off to have a look. But uh, it's in pretty good condition. All my finds so far have come from this very small area with all the mole hills. I'm going to hammer the mole hills till there's no spaces left. But uh, clean this up, have a look at the end. Whatever this is, is keeping itself well hidden. The detector says it's very near the top, but uh, I haven't managed to find it yet. Uh -huh. Something hiding in the roots of a, of a bit of grass, it's another musket ball. Another little one. Very round, that one. Can't even see the lines where it's clamped together. Nice one. Just hulked the hole about a foot deep here. There was a lovely um, silver sort of signal. Unfortunately, it's a heavily rusted horseshoe. Very thick. Almost round. Not like the modern ones, which are more like a U shape. So hopefully, that means good luck. I found the last few things around here. You can see the mole hills. I always like hunting around mole hills because moles tend to bring things to the top, even if the field hasn't been ploughed. This one obviously does get ploughed, but um, systems of mole hills always seem to be good places to try. Unfortunately, you don't always find silver. Sometimes you find stuff like this. Got a very nice signal here. I um, haven't located it yet, but it was quite a nice signal. Um, previously, I've dug that, which I'm kind of hoping is going to be a hammered coin. Very, very black. I'll give it a clean up and um, report back at the end of the video. But uh, I've never found a hammered silver coin yet. I found hammered copper. I'm just hoping that isn't hammered copper. Um, but anyway, back to this hole. Oh, what? It's a, it's a gothic florin. Get in. What bloody God, what good, good condition it's in as well. Beautiful. Just give it a bit of a rub. Very nice. Okay, I've just bought one of these on eBay for about 25 quid. And then I go and find one. <laughs> Lovely. Can't see the date on it. Always like to report the date, but uh, can't seem to see that anywhere. 
Unless it's on this side, maybe. Ah, it's got it in Roman numerals. I did do Latin at school, but um, that's the date there in Roman numerals. I'm going to have to uh, look that up, and again, I'll get back at the end of the video. But that's very, very nice indeed. That's the oldest florin that I've found. Beautiful. One tenth of a pound. It's worth considerably more than a tenth of a pound now. Lovely. This is the results of a three hour hunt. So, not many finds really. I found I had a big pocket full of rubbish. But, um, three little musket balls. Nice, I like finding them. I was finding a lot of lead on that side. Um, a nice button, which seems to have a double headed eagle on it. Which I think is either Austrian or German, uh, which is interesting. A buckle, which possibly isn't that old. And the silver coin. It's a Queen Victoria godless florin from 70, no, not 17, 1872. That's what that means on there. Sorry, 1871. It's only got one eye after the two X's at the end there. 1871. It's in pretty good condition. Nice detail around here. A little bit of wear around here. You should be able to see a, a little braid of hair under that ear. But apart from that, it's in very good condition. One florin. One tenth of a pound. But uh, as I said, when I was digging it up, it's you know worth considerably more than that. Beautiful coin. It's one of the nicest silver coins I've found. Um, this is it in the Spink book. That's it there. 1871. And fine, 20 quid. Very fine, 50 quid. Certainly isn't extra fine. It's probably somewhere between those two. But um, I know for a fact it won't be getting sold. Even though I've now got two of these. I've got an 1872 one as well. Which I bought on eBay for 25 quid. I wish I'd never bothered now because I've just found one. <laughs> That's the way it goes. That's it. Not many finds, but um, still worth finding. Thanks for watching.